Aquarius, what's going on, Aqua? What's up? Shout out to all my Aquarius out there. How you guys doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? What's up, Aqua? What's popping? What's going on with y'all? Happy May. I hope you guys are enjoying your May. Yes, Aquarius. Mm. Let's get into the messages for you guys and see what Spirit has for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node, Aquarius placements. Take the messages as they resonate, okay? Don't force it if it's not your message. Use your discernment wisely, okay? Cross watches for Aquarius. You are welcome. Everyone is welcome here. This message is for all genders, okay? All right. Let's get into it, Aqua. Let's see what's going on with the energy for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node placement. Spare, what messages do you have for my Aquas? Spare, what messages do you have for my Aquas? Aquarius, I'm hearing that it's, well, any time is the perfect time to pray, okay? Let's just, let's just get that out the way. But I'm hearing that it's the perfect time to pray, okay? So some of you may be um, trying to deepen your connection with God, okay? You may be trying to pray right now and, you know, just get closer to God, okay? I'm hearing Allah, okay? So some of you, you know, somebody here may be Muslim, but I'm hearing Allah, I'm hearing God, but... It's time for you to get closer to God, Aquarius, okay? I feel like you're doing that. You feel inspired to, okay? Yeah, get closer to God. Talk to God. Connect with God, okay? Connect with the higher power. Connect with your higher self. I'm hearing that somebody here needs to write a letter to themselves. Maybe you want to write a letter to your younger self right now as well, okay, Aquarius? We have justice. We have Libra energy. Some of you could be connected to a Libra. Maybe you have Libra placements, okay? But we have justice here. Justice. Things are working out in your favor. Trust that everything is going to be okay. Trust that things will work out in your favor. Some of you may even have a legal situation that's going on right now. Trust that that's going to work out in your favor as well, okay? We have just be alone for now and develop your craft. So if there's a creative idea that you have, you need to you need to work on it, Okay? Take some action. Take action. Do it. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, go ahead and do it, okay? Whatever it is that you want to do. You want to write a book. You want to do this. You want to do that. I'm hearing that somebody could be a tarot reader. You want to make your own deck. Yo, go ahead and do that shit, all right? And let me know when you make it too because I'll probably buy it, for real, for real, okay? Somebody here wants to do that, write a book. Somebody here may sing, may draw. I'm getting here that you're very creative. I feel like your creative juices are flowing and I feel like you have some kind of spark, some kind of idea. It's time for you to take action, okay? Invest in yourself, work on it, just put it out there. It'll never feel like the perfect time, okay? You wait for the right time, you wait for the perfect time, your life gonna pass you by. It'll You'll never feel like you're completely ready. You'll never feel like you're 100% ready. Just do that shit, do it now, okay? Just do it now, okay? Perfect it as you go, just do it, okay? Just do it, just do it, just do it. Some of you may be wanting to be alone right now, too, okay? You may be separating yourself from a lot of people. You may not be wanting to talk to a lot of people, okay? I'm just getting here, you know, not no anti-social shit, but it's just like, nah, I don't really want to hang out. You know, I see y'all and I see y'all. You know, maybe people are inviting you out. You know, it's the weekend. Let's go out. Let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's go here. Let's go there. And, you know, I'm not really getting that you're down. I don't feel like you're down. I don't feel like you're sad. I just feel like you want to kick it. You just want to stay home. You want to stay indoors. You just want to chill. Some of you may even do like a girl's night or something like that, but you just want to be indoors. You want to be in the comfort of your own home. I feel like you just want to relax. You want to watch movies. Movies, like you just trying to chill okay but you also are focused on a lot right now okay stay focused remember why you started so don't give up okay don't give up some of you may be feeling distracted or uninspired unmotivated yo what you doing okay get your ass up post your content do what you're supposed to be doing some of y'all post things online okay you could be a content creator of some sort and maybe you feel like you're slacking right now or you just feel like you got a lot on your plate and so you're just taking your time listen it's okay to take breaks we all need breaks okay i'm one to talk y'all know i'll be going on a hiatus i'll be leaving y'all hanging i'm sorry but you know it's okay to take breaks but just make sure that you're not actually giving up on yourself and make sure that you're not staying stuck in a rut make sure that you're not taking too much time away from what it is that you're supposed to be doing okay aquarius 
okay? Because you resting right now. Okay, boo, I understand. Completely get it, okay? Rest up, baby. Get your rest, okay? Because if you're no good, then you can't be good for others. You can't be good to others, okay? You got to take care of your vessel first. You got to take care of yourself first. You come first, and you are absolutely right about that, okay? So those of you that need your rest, go ahead and rest up, okay? Rest and rejuvenate, okay? Some of you are drained. You feel like you're doing a million things at once. You got a lot on your plate. You got a lot of responsibilities. Some of you are wives, your mothers. You got kids. You got a lot of shit. Like, you got a lot going on. And so it's just like, yo, I need time, okay? I need time. I'm only one person. I got a lot of shit to do. Y'all gonna have to give me a damn minute, okay? That's the energy you're giving me. So you may even be saying that to people. Like, people could be calling you, texting you, asking you for stuff. Did you do this? Did you do that? Oh, mommy, I need this. I need that. Did you finish that? And it's like, listen. Okay, it's one of me. It's a million of y'all. It's one of me. Like y'all gotta give me a minute. Okay, damn, you gotta give me a minute. Okay, but understand that you always have a choice in everything in life. Okay, you have. It says you always have a choice. So some of you may be faced with a decision right now that you have to make. It's a hard decision, but trust that you'll make the right choice, Aquarius. That's what I'm getting from that for some reason. Trust that you'll make the right choice. You'll make the right decision. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're overthinking right now, baby, for some reason. Okay. You an air sign. I'm an air sign, okay? Fellow air sign to another. I know how we could get, baby. Some of you are up in your head right now. You overthinking about a situation. But understand that you always have a choice. I feel like there's a choice that you have to make, but you overthinking. It's like, damn, I don't know. Should I? Should I not? Do I want to? Do I not? Do I really want this? Do I really, like, what? Do I really want this shit or... You know, I don't know what this is pertaining to, but it's something here that's causing some mental anguish. It's like, I wouldn't say mental anguish. I feel like I'm dragging it saying that, but it's just like mental conflict a little bit. Like, it's just like you're undecided, you're indecisive, right? Um, this could have to do with a love situation. It really could. You know, some of you, this has to do with a love situation. You got love on the brain, Aqua? That's what you're thinking about, baby? But we got the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Chair reverse. Some of you, this could be love. Others of you, it may be something else. Take it as it resonates. But a lot of you may feel like you missed out something, okay? Like something like the offer no longer stands. Like, fuck it, I missed out. I missed out on an opportunity. It's not going to work out for me. This person's going to reject me or this person doesn't want me. Or maybe they moved on or maybe they just doing their own thing. Maybe they don't want to be bothered with me. They look like they're doing good where they at. You know, I tried to connect with them. It didn't really hit off or I tried to reach out. I didn't really get a response. Like, that's the energy this is giving me some of you feel stuck right now and you stuck in your head you overthinking the situation because you may feel like the offer doesn't still stand but i'm getting that it's it's just a mental thing for you like this is something that you just telling yourself okay you overthinking <sighs> yeah we have scorpio in a reverse and we have my income is constantly increasing be mindful of the scorpio okay i don't know i don't like that i don't like how that came out just now if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you need to be careful with this person. I feel like they're a snake. I'm just, listen, Scorpio, you cross-watching, you got an attitude, I don't care. I'm reading the energy because I feel like there's a Scorpio that may be watching this and they like, man, shut up. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I love y'all. I do. I promise I do. But listen, I'm just reading what's coming out. <laughs> I feel like I pissed somebody off when I said that. But we got Scorpio in a reverse, and we got my income is constantly increasing. Listen, Aqua, you could have Scorpio in your chart. Maybe this person does. Maybe they are Scorpio sun. I don't know. But that is what I'm intuitively getting. As soon as I put, as soon as I turned these two cards over that came out together, the way they came out together, it made me feel iffy, Aqua. I'm just saying. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio and it's not the best situation right now, you feeling that way for a reason, okay? Trust your judgment, trust your intuition, trust your gut, okay? Like, if you feeling iffy about somebody and they happen to be a Scorpio, you might want to take a deeper look. You might want to look at this person a little bit closer. There's some shit going on with them. I feel like this person is struggling financially and maybe they trying to take your damn money, okay? Maybe this person is trying to come after you because you could be doing better than them right now and this person could be hating. I'm just, listen, I'm just giving a message. I'm telling y'all, Excuse me, what I'm feeling. I feel like somebody here is mad. I feel like there's going to be a cross watcher. Aquarius, I don't feel like you're mad. I feel like there's a cross watcher that's going to have an attitude about this. Okay, this is a past lover for some of you. This person is unstable right now. A lot of things is happening in this person's life. I'm telling you, they got a lot of bills. This person could be in debt. I'm hearing child support for some of you. This person got a lot of child support. They got a lot of debt. This person could be losing a lot in regards to a love situation. Okay, something's going on with this person's energy. Okay, this may even be an ex of yours. 
could be the father or mother of your child, okay? But I'm telling you, this person is losing stability here. And it's like they want to come for you. Like, And this person is lying on you. But understand that justice will be served. There go that justice card again. Justice in the Libra card. Justice will be served. There could be a Libra in this situation involved in some way. They're going to come to your defense. Others of you, this is actual a legal case. This is a legal case that you have with this person. Understand that justice will be served in your favor because this person is a liar. I'm getting here that somebody is lying on you. This person is going to court and they lying. Like, what the fuck? Okay, but there's a Libra that's going to come save the day is, is what I'm hearing. There's a Libra that could be coming to save the day, Aqua. Okay, we have the Emperor in the reverse. I feel like this person is like abusing their authority, abusing their power. Um, this is somebody that could just be very arrogant, very controlling. This is somebody that you may feel like is a narcissist for some of you. But this is somebody that's in their ego. They're controlling, they're power hungry. Um, somebody here is money hungry. Somebody here is doing the most. Aquarius, you don't have anything to fear understand you go in you being an honest person and you standing 10 toes down and you speaking up you stick you you know what am i trying to say you sticking up for yourself you staying true to what you believe in right you telling your side of the story then you're gonna be fine okay because i'm seeing justice is being served in your, in your favor but somebody here is lying i'm telling you somebody here is a lie yeah all they do is lie i got the truth in the reverse i'm telling you whoever this person is they're a fucking liar this person could be a taurus a scorpio or a gemini somebody with that in your chart this is somebody that's lying okay but you get to move free and this person gonna be stuck they gonna be stuck this person think that they gonna have a successful outcome and all they doing is lying they got another thing coming we got the food card here aquarius some of you could have aries in your chart but i'm getting here that you're fearless you're taking a brand new leap of faith everything gonna work out in your favor i I promise you if you needed any confirmation that shit is going to pop for you that everything will work out in your favor here it is because i'm getting that you're going against someone that's grimy i'm hearing that they're grimy they're grimy they're a liar they they're good they're gonna lie they're gonna lie they're gonna lie they're, gonna, they're just gonna keep lying this is somebody that's just not gonna tell the truth the truth is not in them okay this is somebody that's just gonna continue to lie they don't have anything better to do but to lie and try to ruin your reputation or take from you. That's what I'm getting. <sighs> Crazy. That's some bullshit. Okay. But it's okay because you're going to be successful. You're going to be winning. Okay. You're already successful, but you're going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to be even more successful and everything's going to work out in your favor. I wouldn't even sweat this shit. I really wouldn't. I know it's easier said than done. Some of you, you know that this is going to work out in your favor, but you just hate that you even have to go through this bullshit. Okay. I, I completely understand. Okay, I do. I, I understand your energy. Yeah, I just saw the five of wands here. Somebody here causing conflict. Somebody here causing conflict. They want to take from you. I, I'm getting here that this is all about money. This shit is all about money. Somebody here wants your money, Aquarius. This person is having a difficult time. They're struggling and they want your money. And this shit, like I said, could even be going to court for some of you. But you're going to win because this person is lying. They going to court and they lying. Listen. Six of Wands in the reverse here, Aquarius. Okay. Six of Wands in the reverse here, the tower. I'm telling you, this is going to come to an end. It'll be over shortly. It'll be over. It'll be over soon. Before you know it, it's, it's probably going to be over this month. Okay. We got the tower card here. This is going to come to an end. And you're going to be able to heal from the situation. You're going to be able to get back to work the way you want to. You're going to be able to tap in and get back and get back into the groove of things, get back into work the way you want to. I'm getting here that you're a hard worker and you ready to just take off and fully work. OK, you ready to just just go to work. That's what I'm getting. You ready to just work. You have so many ideas. You have so many things that you want to do. And I just feel like you just ready to do that shit. Like you just ready to take off and get back to work. You ready for the situation to be over and done with so that you can focus on what you love doing. And you're going to get that. You're going to get it. Eight of Pentacles. It's going to happen, baby. I feel like this person is just sad. They're depressed. They the ones that's really hurt. You the one that's healing. You the one that's healing. You're the one that's going to be victorious. You're, you're the one that's going to be stable. You're the one that's going to have a positive outcome. You're the one that's going to get good karma, karmic justice. You're the one that's going to be able to get back to work and run checkup, okay? I'm getting here that your finances is going to be fucking booming, all right? Just let this situation die down. Whatever this is, let it just ride it out. Just let it die down. Trust that you're going to be fine. Keep your composure, okay? I feel like somebody here wants you to act an ass, 
Somebody here wants to get you out of character. Somebody here wants you to get upset. Continue to ground yourself. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're counting in your damn head, is working for you. You may want to curse somebody out, okay? You may want to rip this person a new one. You may even want to choke this motherfucker out. But don't do it, okay? Practice patience. Ground yourself. Get a good control. Get a good grip of your emotions. Everything going to work out in your favor. Somebody here really wants you to turn up on them so that they can use that to their advantage. It's like somebody somebody here may even want you to whoop their ass just so that they can use it against you. You understand what I'm saying? You're dealing with somebody that's really trying to come for you. Like this person wants you to act out so that they can use it against you. Do not let this person win. I'm telling you, do not let them win. Do not let them get the best of you. This person is sad. This is why they're doing this. This person is sad. They are, they are nervous about their future. This is somebody that's nervous about their finances. This is what this is all about. I'm seeing this very clearly here. Okay, this is somebody that's feeling unstable right now. This person is an emotional wreck and they want you to be an emotional wreck just like them. 1555 on the clock, as I say that, 555. Some of you could be seeing 555 a lot. There's a lot of changes that's happening, but there's positive changes that's happening for you, Aquarius. This is all for your highest good, okay? We got the six of swords in the reverse here. I feel like somebody here wants to come back towards you. Somebody wants to talk to you. But I feel like you cutting this person off. I feel like you don't really have much to say to them. Okay? Some of you could be ignoring someone. You could be blocking someone. Okay? But you're quiet. Okay? Some of you may also want to talk to someone. But you feel like this person is not going to want to talk to you. You may be struggling with the strength and courage to actually make this work. That's what I was getting earlier when I said, Aquarius, do you have love on the brain? So some of you do have someone that you into. There's somebody that you into, baby. I see it, okay? There's somebody that you into, Aqua, but here you are with the star reverse. You feel like this is a missed opportunity. This is what I said earlier. Some of you are struggling, you know, with believing that this is going to work out in your favor, but I feel like it is. I feel like it is. I feel like somebody wants you to feel like you don't deserve this or you're not going to get it or it's not going to work out in your favor. I'm getting here that that's a fucking illusion. It's, it's manipulation. It's not the case. I'm strongly feeling that intuitively. You have the Ace of Cups here. This is the love offer. Either this person that you really want is going to end up coming towards you, making you a love offer, Aqua, or you just going to overcome this fear and you're going to make this love offer to this person. The only thing is, is that you need to close out a cycle with somebody that's very toxic. This person could be a Scorpio or a Gemini or a Capricorn. Those are the energies I keep getting. But as soon as you disconnect from this person, as soon as you block this person out, you block their toxic energy out, you stop communicating with them. This person going to be mad. They're going to be holding a grudge against you. They mad because they not getting what they want from you. They mad because they losing. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is that what you truly want, what your heart truly desires is something that you're going to get. Okay, you're going to get it. Take the leap of faith. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. All right, now let me stop. But with the fool card, you're going to get it. You are, okay? The fool, taking a leap of faith. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or another Aquarius, or you could have Aries in your chart, okay? But nine of pentacles, okay? You single, you independent, you abundant, but you want love. You got your eyes on somebody. You're feeling them. They feeling you. This person feeling you too. Even though they ain't saying shit right now, they see you, boo. Okay, they see you. They feeling you. Okay, this person may be going through their own shit that you don't know about, and that could be another reason why they're not communicating. But they see you, boo, and the community y'all not communicating is not gonna be for long. Y'all gonna communicate soon. Justice. Some of you, this person could be a Libra, but they go that justice card again. I'm telling you, everything that you want is going to work out for you. I can assure you of that. You have the justice card here twice. Okay, especially if you're dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, an Aries, or um, who else was here? Another Aquarius like yourself or any other sign that I mentioned, right? If that's who you want, you're going to get them. You're going to get them. I'm telling you because spirit keeps confirming it. I'm pulling the same cards and they all showing up in the upright. You're going to get this person. You are. You think that you're not, but you are. You see, you just, you dragging your feet. You're not saying nothing. Well, this person's dragging their feet. They not saying nothing. It's because you got a lot going on. They got a lot going on. Some of y'all got legal situations that I done picked up on. Listen, it's all right. Understand that, you know, this is something that's destined to happen. I'm getting here that this is destined to happen. Okay, you're going to get it. 
you're going to get it, okay? Somebody is trying to manipulate you and think that you're not. You are. There's a third party that's trying to block this. They're trying to block your intuition. Somebody here wants you to be confused. They want you to feel like you missed out on opportunity. They want you to feel like this person don't want you. They want you to feel abandoned. They want you to feel left out in the cold. It's not the truth. This is what I'm saying. Somebody here is causing major illusions for you, Aqua. Don't believe it. Don't believe it, baby. I call this person's bluff. You... This person wants you and you want them. And somebody here that's a third party that's hating is just trying to block this. They just trying to stop this. They just trying to confuse you. They just mad because they feel left out in the cold. This person feel left out in the cold. They feel powerless. So they want you to feel the same way. They want you to feel like you're not going to get what you want. Like you're not going to have a successful outcome because they know for a fact that they're not going to have a successful outcome. They know it's only a matter of time before shit, you know, go up in flames for them. This person is going to have, this person's going to have a really, really big tower moment. They don't see this shit coming, but I do. I see it here. And this is something that's going to burden them. This is going to be a sad situation for this person. And they're going to have to watch you be happy. This person going to be watching you. The same person that's trying to cause illusions for you and stand in between the way of you and somebody that you really want to be with. Oh, they're going to watch. They're going to be watching, Aquarius. They're going to watch you be happy. I'm telling you. And they're going to be so pissed because they was under the impression that they got into your head. This is somebody that feels like they can get into your head. You know, this is somebody that really feel like they got some power where they could get you stuck. They could get you binded, trapped, and, and you wouldn't know no better. Okay, this is somebody that don't want you to know any better. Somebody here may also want you to go to jail. That's why I told you, continue to be balanced. Okay, continue to be balanced because... This is somebody that will call the cops on you and use it against you and try to get you locked up. This is somebody that just wants you to be stuck. They don't want you to be happy, okay? They don't want you to be happy because they know that they're not going to be happy. This is either somebody that y'all are leaving or somebody that y'all already left. And it's like World War Three between you and this person. They don't want you to be happy because they're not happy. Misery loves company. Okay, that's what I'm about to title this shit. Misery loves company. I'm telling you, this person wants you to be miserable because they know that that's going to be the outcome that they're going to have. I feel like this person, it's a strong knowing, it's a deep inner knowing that they have, a deep understanding that they have that something may very well not work out in their favor. This person has some sort of intuitive nudge that something's not going to work in their favor, but they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that shit ain't going to work out in their favor. So they just playing mind tricks on you to make you think that y'all in this together and you're going to be suffering right with their ass. Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype, Aqua. I'm telling you, you get to set out on a brand new journey. And I promise you, whoever you got your eyes on when it comes to love, that motherfucker got their eye on you too. They just playing the situation a certain way for whatever reason. But they got their eye on you too. They do. They see you. They see you. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. I know y'all listening to this shit and y'all like, nah, I don't think so. Listen. Who you going to believe? The motherfucker that's going against you or me? Okay? I'm not going against you. I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. Like, I'm telling you. This person wants you too. Okay? It's an illusion. Don't believe the hype. All right? All right? Don't believe the hype. Misery loves company. This person is miserable and they know that they can't get through to you. So, they just trying to get to you in a way where you'll feel powerless or you'll feel like you're not going to have a successful outcome with someone. It's not true. Don't lose your temper. Don't get locked up. Don't bust this person in the mouth. Don't fight them. Don't argue with them. Do what you got to do. If you got a legal situation with this person, go handle your business and get back to work. Do what you got to do and, and let the love come to you the way that it's supposed to. Let everything unfold naturally the way that it's supposed to. Play your cards right. Do not let this person get to you because that's what they want. They want you to show your ass so that they can have something on you, okay? Okay. Don't let them win, Aqua. You're going to thank me later. Peace.